Hello everybody, welcome back to the GBW YouTube channel today and in today's video we're going to be showing off my full autograph collection, an updated edition for 2022, we obviously did a previous one in 2021, so we're going to give you an updated look at my autograph collection in today's video, so if you're excited to see what autograph cards I've got in my collection, then make sure to absolutely smash that like button and of course hit the subscribe button if you are new around here, because we are going for 100,000 subscribers before the World Cup begins this winter, so yeah. Yes, have you hit the like button and have you subscribed? Brilliant. Let's show off my autograph collection. So yes, these are all of the autograph cards I've got in my collection. At the end of the video, or after we've shown off all the autos, we will go through my display cabinet over there in the other side of this room, uh, which has the non-autograph cards as well. So I've, I've actually got a pretty decent collection building up over there, um, but I've taken out all the autographs uh, to show off in this video now, and at the end I'll put them back in the cabinet and show off the full cabinet and all the different um, displays I've got there. So uh, yeah, without further ado, of course, if you're looking to get some expensive cards for your collections or some more high-end cards in that sense uh, do visit trade we cards there is the website there's all the socials down there as always they'll always be in the description as well uh, do box breaks on there and i open a fair few boxes at trade we cards as well so if you want to get involved do visit the link in the description and uh, yeah let's show off my auto so a few of these you would have seen from the 2021 video but there's definitely some new ones in here as well so First of all, Serginio Dest. Now, this was pulled, was it a Tops on Demand set back in 2020? Now, I think this was one of my first autos um, in the set, or in this set I've got here. Um, nicely mag with the GBW mag stickers. Uh, Darren, if you're watching, what a legend. Thank you very much for making them. Um, but yeah, they look so nice, so professional, especially in the cabinet. You'll see it at the end of the video. Uh, it just looks so, so nice. Uh, this autograph is not numbered. Um, but yeah, it's just a standard match attacks autograph from that tops on demand set. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, but definitely not the best one we have in our collection. Let's just say that next up is another one you've definitely seen before. It's the Roberto Firmino match attacks auto. So it's just the standard match attacks, not match attacks chrome or anything like that. Just your standard match attacks. I think, I think it was 2020-21 season when they first introduced autographs into packs of match attacks. Obviously not including the ones from back in 2010, etc. But yeah, this is a very, very nice one. Pulled in a video as well. I think all of these are pulled in videos other than the more expensive ones down the bottom of the pile. But yeah, that is a lovely Roberto Firmino autograph for Liverpool. There we go. And then we do have probably my most expensive, my most valuable match attacks not Chrome, I nearly said Chrome again. My most expensive match attacks auto, it has to be this one, Bruno Fernandes. I don't think I've seen another Bruno Fernandes match attacks auto out there. I've, I've always had a little safe search on eBay just to double check, but I don't think there's any other ones out there at the moment. So this is why it's a very sought after card um, and it's a pretty valuable one. Let's just say that. Uh, very nice card as well. Bruno Fernandes, again, pulled in a video. I think it was, was it a 100 pack opening? of uh, match attacks something like that uh, again from the same season as those ones 2020 2021 and yeah lovely lovely card bruno fernandez for manchester united we've now got one from match attacks 101 uh, i don't even remember this video i think it was a box break or something like that we've got a cheeky mason mount auto in there which is just mental uh, this is numbered 191 of 200 so 200 of these mason mount cards in the world so it was quite a common one I think it's only worth about £80, something like that, probably less now. Um, but still, a very, very nice card indeed. I did pack a Camavinga auto from this uh, Match Tax 101 set as well, so they were sort of quite common in that set. Hopefully it's the same for the upcoming Match Tax 101 set, whenever that may be. Uh, I'm sure it won't be too long before we see that uh, advertised by Tops. Um, but there we go, Mason Mount auto numbered, the first number one of the video, uh, to 200. Uh, next up, we have got Marco Royce. Match Attacks Chrome Auto. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. This was pulled off camera. Uh, I was just opening a few boxes of Match Attacks Chrome uh, to prepare for the card show. I think, I think it was the, the, the one at the end of January uh, we had uh, in um, Tolworth, the London one. I was just opening a few boxes to prepare, uh, get see if I could get any nice cool cards to sell on. And lo and behold, we got a 5 of 5 Marco Royce Auto. Just looks absolutely incredible. The red wave design 
You don't see red parallels in tops often because it's only out of five. It seems more common to find the one of ones in tops. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this is actually the lowest numbered one uh, we have got in this pile. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, very nice card, that Marco Royce for uh, Borussia Dortmund. There we go. I've started to make a little uh, row of them at the back there. But next up, we're moving in to the QPR ones. And there we go. We've got Sandra. I think we might have seen this in the last autograph video I did. Uh, but it's a very, very nice one. Sandro, official autograph. Um, there we go. Fantastic. Obviously, wasn't the best player for QPR, but, you know, it's a QPR autograph. You, there wasn't many of these at all. Uh, in the, I think this was the Topps Premier Club, Premier Gold. I can't remember. Topps Premier Club, 2014-15. Uh, that was the last year we were actually in the Premier League. So it's been a long time. I reckon it could reach 10 years before we're back in the Premier League, uh, at least, of course. Uh, but there we go, 36 of 120. So it's another numbered autograph card um, out of 120. So, you know, it's not um, the rarest card in the world, but nevertheless, it's a lovely one at that. Really nice on the sticker. I love the design of that, of the, uh, the landscape water. Um, but yeah, nice little card, I must admit. One of the... Uh, the decent QPR ones we've got in my collection. And next up is probably the best QPR card I've got in the collection. Well, the rarest one, I'd have to say. It's Bobby Zamora. There we go. And this is a black parallel to 25. It's either black parallel or blue parallel. I'm not too sure because I didn't actually uh, collect this set when it was released. But there we go. Really, really nice, clean design. And as it says on the back there, number 20 of 25. Um, so yeah, very, very nice Bobby Zamora autograph card. Nice silver writing down there as well. And obviously the player who got us into the Premier League by beating Derby County. Obviously Derby fans watching this video now will be familiar with QPR beating you late on. It's happened again, hasn't it, Derby County? Anyway, so there he is, Bobby Zamora, 20 of 25. Lovely, lovely QPR autograph there. Um, and then we've got another Bobby Zamora card here. There he is, Bobby Zamora. I think this is one, yeah, this is numbered as well. 105 of 125 uh, Bobby Zamora autograph card. Again, I think we might have seen this in the previous autograph video. We did, but it's still a very, very nice card. It has to be shown off again, and I absolutely love it. Uh, it's the same design as the Sandro one, so from the Topps Premier Club 2014-15 collection. And uh, yeah, I love it. It just goes so well in the QPR uh, shelf. You'll see in a minute in my display cabinet. So next up is one of my favourites, if not probably my favourite, because it's Charlie Austin and it's hand-signed, lovely match tax, 2014-15 base card. I mean, the card itself has probably seen better days. You can see it's um, quite frayed in the top corners, etc. But I don't care. I don't care about the quality of it because it's a Charlie Austin on card or share. In my opinion, it's my own one of one of Charlie Austin, and I love it. There he is. What a player. What a man. QPR legend. There we go. He obviously went on to play many a year in the Premier League with the likes of Southampton. And uh, he played a half a season with West Brom as well uh, before joining back with us on loan. So there we go. There is Charlie Austin. What a card that is. I love it. That, oh, incredible. Right. Here are the most expensive cards in my collection. Now, I know some of you watching will probably have collections way more expensive than mine, way more vast than mine. But yeah, that's what makes collecting cards so unique and exciting because everyone's collection is different and it's whatever they want to go for. And obviously, I'm a QPR fan. We obviously don't get many cards released because we're not in the Premier League. We're in the Championship. There's no Championship collections. Uh, so I have to rely on going for international players or players who used to play for QPR. For example, this man, Abir Eze. What a player he was. Left at the start of the 2021-22 season, joined Crystal Palace. Uh, this is a nice impeccable water. These last four cards actually are all from the Panini Impeccable set. So very, very expensive collection. Uh, rookie card as well, which is always nice to see. Uh, this is the Impressions Auto on a sticker. Um, there we go, Eberici Eze for Crystal Palace. Uh, next up, what do we go for next? We've got so many good Eze cards. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna save that one to the end because that is the most expensive one of the lot. This one isn't impeccable. I forgot about this one. This is from this year's Panini Prism 2021-22 collection. It's the first off the line blue shimmer auto. It's not numbered, but it is definitely short print. Um, but that I tell you what, it looks so nice. The blue shimmer on the blue kit or the blue and red kit uh, on sticker auto. Looks so, so nice. And uh, there he is, Ibirieze. This obviously isn't a rookie, but 
Uh, yeah, so I, I wasn't really going to go after Eze Autos from this year. But when I saw this come available on Instagram, I thought I have to get it. The blue shimmer looks so nice. Uh, so yeah, that is one of my favorites as well in terms of design. Uh, as are these final two. These final two are by far the most expensive ones I've got in my collection. We've got 50 of 96 canvas creations from Impeccable last year. Um, rookie card, as you can see, on card autograph so this was a redemption card i'm pretty sure this would have come directly from panini Eze would have had this card in hand he would have signed well he has signed on this card as you can see there i don't know if you can tell on the camera but it's unlike all these other ones they're all on stickers other than the austin entirely on card which you don't see often these days in the hobby uh so we take that and it's just oh, such a lovely card love the uh paint splatter design in the background uh, there he is, Eberichi has a uh, 50 of 96 um, Canvas Creations Auto. So yeah, that is an absolutely fantastic auto. And then to finish off, we have got definitely my most expensive card in my collection. It's this one. Also from Impeccable, also a Berry as a rookie card, 2 of 25. And even with these ones which are on-card autos, he's written his number as well, 25, obviously, last year. He's now number 10 for Crystal Palace, which is quite exciting. I'm pretty sure he's number 10 at least. But, yeah, there he is. Abiri is a 2 of 25. Only 25 of these ones in the world. On-card autograph. Such a clean auto as well. Oh, it's just an absolutely beautiful card. And I'm sure under Patrick Vieira, he will um, come on leaps and bounds at Palace. If he doesn't move, he might be making moves. I think there was an a article recently that he might be moving to Newcastle, uh, which would be an interesting one. I'm not sure how he'd do over there, but I'm sure he'd do well because he's a fantastic player. And it's a lovely, lovely autograph card. 2 of 25, um, impeccable as a Orsair. Just absolutely incredible. Look at that. I love the on-card autos as well. These are proper good quality cards as well. Um, these impeccable ones, really, really thick. I don't know if you can tell that. There we go. So much thicker, for example, than the uh, prism one. There we go. You can tell the difference in thickness of card there. Um, but that is my autograph collection. Uh, I'm going to have to put it on the floor, on the table for now. But yeah, what a collection it is. You know, people will probably say, oh, my collection is a lot better than yours. I've got a lot more than you. But it's all subjective when it comes to card collecting. It's whatever you want to go for. For example, for me, it's QPR and, well, QPR past and present, really, and, as you'll see in a minute, Valtteri Bottas with the F1, because everyone has to have an F1 collector or drive they want to collect. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, go a bit different and go for Valtteri Bottas, because I like the man from Drive to Survive. But, yeah, there is my auto collection, because everyone wanted to see it, but now we're going to put them back in the cabinet, and I'm going to go and show you what else I've got in my cabinet of goodies. So yeah, here we are at the display cabinet. Got that lovely panini light on top, which I would usually have on, but the camera lens does not like it. And going back to autographs, I have got a signed Charlie Austin shirt right there. So I'm tempted to get another little cabinet there or like a little shelf to put all the Austin cards on. So it's like a little shrine, I guess, because I've also got that giant uh, stick, which Panini gave me as well. Anyway, let's start off with the first shelf. We've got all the Eze cards at the back. So we've got a Revolution one, which you wouldn't have seen before in the video. Um, there we go. So all the Eze ones there. We've also got an Eze Rookie Metal out of 29. Uh, that's genuine silver in there in that card, which is just mental. And then we've got a load of lo uh, lovely Linden Dykes Rookie cards from Panini Euro Mosaic. This one is out of 10. That one's a Peacock design. Uh, we've got the Gold Reactive and we've got the Genesis. I think that's like a case hit one, that Genesis one. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't seen it often. And it's one of the rarer ones in that Euro Mosaic set. Uh, but yeah, that's the first shelf. So we've got the individuals on that one. So we've got Eze and Lyndon Dykes. On um, shelf number two, we've got the Charlie Austin Shrine at the moment. We've got his, I can't remember the set, I think it's Premier Gold, that one, 2014. We've got uh, this custom card, which I actually made, that Return of the King one. And then we've got an extra, extra large card. I think that's an A5 size card of Charlie Austin. It's numbered as well. I can't remember what it's numbered to. I think 199 I can see down there. Um, which is an interesting one. It's basically the same design as the Topps Premier Gold slash Club Autos, like uh, that Bobby Zamora one. It's the same design as that. Uh, then we have got the Austin card we've seen before and all the other ones we've seen. So that's the QPR shelf, basically, that one. And then we have the cards you wouldn't have seen in the video. This is my Valtteri Bottas collection. So I've got a few Ray Waves in there from the latest F1 Chrome. I've got a few from last year's Chrome, like the Flying Fin. Um, some lights out ones down there, some parallels. Uh, this is the rarest one of the lot. It's out of 25. 
uh, orange wave design really really nice card I picked that up at the UK show recently as well as that purple and green one at the back there as well but yeah that's the Bottas collection so far obviously the dream is to get an autograph in there as well at some point um, but they are very expensive at the moment I'll have to see if I can fork out one of them because that would look incredible in there uh, but anyway that's the Bottas set which you wouldn't have seen in this video with the autos earlier on because there's no autos and at the bottom, we have got the match tax uh, related ones, which, um, yeah, may be replaced at some point because this Bottas collection is filling up quite quickly, as well as the Dykes and uh, Eze and obviously the QPR related ones as well. So, uh, yeah, I think this shelf will be overtaken by all of this other stuff soon. But at the moment, I've just got them sitting down the bottom there. And when you look at the cabinet from afar, it does look fantastic. All those cards up there, the Panini light on top, it just looks absolutely superb. I think it's from Ikea, this um, display cabinet. Um, so I definitely recommend you pick it up. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the desk. So yeah, there we have it. That is my full collection in display cabinet. I've obviously shown you all my autographs in this video as well. Um, but yeah, thanks very much everyone for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to absolutely smash that like button. If you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button as well. That way you'll never miss an upload on the channel. And of course, if you hit the notification bell as well, you'll never miss an upload. And the reason why you should subscribe is because we are going for 100,000 subscribers before the World Cup begins this winter. So hopefully we can do that. And yeah, without further ado, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.